Beer, please. Make it two. On me. I'm perfectly capable of buying my own beer, thank you. Good. Glad to hear that. You can get the next round. <laughs> you are not from around here, are you? What makes you say that? I would recognize such a beautiful pair of eyes. Maybe you were too busy reading your kitty books to notice. This? Oh, this is no kitty book. This is research. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll just have to owe you that next round. Hey, 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 I'm being serious. Now, there's some freaky deaky shit going on out there. What kind of shit make you piss your pants? This book here teaches you how to deal with it. <laughs> okay. You know, my, my buddy Cole McGrath, he used to make fun of it, too. The Cole McGrath? One and only. The Demon of Empire City. That's what they call him. <laughs> you know Cole McGrath. Know him? <laughs> He's like a brother to me. A brother from another mother. In fact, it's this here kitty book, as you call it, that helped me save him from eternal damnation. Really? Mm hmm Tell me more. Well, uh, you know about Pyronite? Can't say that I do. <laughs> oh, man. I knew you weren't from around here. <laughs> Every pyre night, the folks in New Marais go certifiably apeshit. They put on costumes, build big old bonfires in the streets, and dance around them till sunup. Me and my boy, we were there for the last one. We couldn't even get a beer before folks started howling out for help from beneath the church. Now, some folks might say that Cole McGrath is a bad guy. Oh. Ain't nothing farther from the truth. Back then, if folks were suffering, he'd be right there to lend a hand. We were getting decorations from beneath the church, and the ceiling started falling in. I think there are more folks back right down there. Hey, don't worry. I got it under control. It was cold down in them catacombs beneath the city. They were first used for crypts, then the Underground Railroad, and then some bootlegging. <laughs> yeah. They got used for pretty much everything. The thing is, the folks who went down there kept disappearing. I, I think there's more people trapped up ahead. The pain is too much. I owe you, man. Ah, it's nothing. Anyone else in here? Yeah, those fingers had got him. They'd opened up a vein in his neck and started dripping blood into some matchstick of a corpse. Cole's a conduit. He's superhuman. And his blood... Whew. It did the trick. Man, her bite was like a pit bull with syringes for teeth. The more she drank, the prettier she got. Other vampires started crowding around, chanting her name. Bloody Mary! Bloody Mary! Yeah, Cole's blood had brought her back all right. And in return, she gave him a little something on the side. I hear they named a cocktail after me. The Bloody Mary. Oh, God, I hate that name. Worse yet, it's served with breakfast. When was it ever acceptable to drink before five in the afternoon? What the hell? Well, my dear, I control you now. In fact, come sunrise, all of your free will will be mine. Screw you. Don't try raising a hand against me. I will not allow it.
Come on. I read Dracula. I know how this works. Cole had made it out of the catacombs, but he couldn't escape what he'd become. He was thirsty, desperate for a drink. Ah, oh, no. Hi, mister. You know where the pyre's at around here? <laughs> Cole had drunk her dry. He didn't choose to do it. The instinct had taken over. But her blood was now on his hands. And in his veins. You're one of us now. Embrace your new life. It's wonderful. isn't it? Of course, to fuel such powers, you'll need more blood. Rivers of juicy, warm, human blood. Drink them dry. The blood of lovers is a taste to be savored. My children are going to test you tonight, and I want to see what you can do. I've never had a subject with abilities like yours. Oh, you're such a treasure. <laughs> 